Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Nidhi Garg from Deshbandhu College. Today we are going to talk on module Human Genome Project Part 1 from the paper Molecular Genetics. The objectives of this module is to know what genome is, to learn about the history of the Human Genome Project, to evaluate the importance of Human Genome Project to know the important goals of the Human Genome Project and how well within the time frame they were achieved, followed by the summary. Introduction The genome is defined as the genetic material of an organism which comprises of DNA or it can be RNA in case of RNA viruses. The term genome was coined by Professor Hans Winkler of the University of Hamburg, Germany in 1920 in haploid organisms such as bacteria, archaea, viruses and in organisms such as mitochondria and chloroplasts, the genome consists of a single circular or linear chromosome. While in a sexually reproducing diploid organism, the genome comprises of two full sets of chromosomes in a somatic cell. The gametes of a haploid organism contain half the number of chromosomes due to meiosis. The term genome thus refers not only to the DNA present in the nucleus known as the nuclear genome but also to the DNA stored in mitochondria and chloroplast which is known as the mitochondrial genome and the chloroplast genome. Sequencing the genome of an organism refers to the determination of the order of nitrogenous bases ATGC in its genetic material. For example, in case of a virus, it means knowing the base composition of only a single chromosome. Bacterium sequencing means sequencing both the chromosome and the plasmids which together comprise its genome. In case of sexually reproducing organism, sequencing means determining the sequence of a complete set of autosomes and one of each type of sex chromosome. For example, the human genome consists of 22 pairs of autosomes and two sex chromosomes. Therefore, a complete genome sequence will comprise of 46 separate chromosome sequences. To sequence the genome of any organism, genome projects are undertaken. Genome projects are scientific research projects initiated by research groups world over with the aim of sequencing the complete genome annotating the protein coding genes and decoding the essential features of a genome which either distinguishes it or relates it to another genome. The decision to sequence a genome by the research agencies depends upon the importance of that organism. For example, it could be a model organism, an organism of commercial importance such as a crop plant, livestock, yeast or enzyme producing bacteria. The organism of significant importance to human health, a species that will help in determining molecular evolution or phylogeny. The Human Genome Project The Human Genome Project was a collaborative project between several countries that aimed to know the sequence of 3 billion base pairs comprising the human DNA. It also involved both identifying and mapping the total number of genes in the human genome. The HGP was both proposed and funded by the US government until date is the world's largest collaborative project. Although the planning of the project started way back in 1984 but the work began in 1990 and the complete genome was announced in the year 2003. The sequencing was carried out in the 20 institutes mentioned below. It was the Whitehead Institute or the MIT Center for Genome Research located in Cambridge, Massachusetts, US, the Wellcome Trust Sanger Institute or the Wellcome Trust Genome Campus at the Hingston, Cambridgeshire in the United Kingdom. The third institute was the Washington University School of Medicine Genome Sequencing Center located in St. Louis, US. The fourth center was the United States DOE Joint Genome Institute, located in California, United States. 
Baylor College of Medicine, Human Genome Sequencing Center, Department of Molecular and Human Genetics at Houston, Texas, United States. The sixth institute was the Rick and Genome Sciences Center located in the Yokohama, Japan. The Genoscope and CNRS UMR 8030 was located in every France, while the GTC Sequencing Center at the Genome Therapeutics Corporation was located in the United States. The Department of Genomic Analysis at the Institute of Molecular Biotechnology was located in Jena, Germany. Beijing Genomics Institute at the Human Genome Center Institute of Genetics, the Chinese Academy of Sciences was located in Beijing, China. The multi megabase Sequencing Center at the Institute of Systems Biology was located in Seattle, in Washington, in the United States. The Stanford Genome Technology Center was located in Stanford, California, U.S., while the Stanford Human Genome Center and Department of Genetics at the Stanford University School of Medicine was again located in Stanford, California, U.S. The University of Washington Genome Center was located in Seattle, Washington, U.S., Department of Molecular Biology, Kyo University School of Medicine was located in Tokyo, Japan, while the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center was located in Dallas, in Texas, again in the United States. The University of Oklahoma's Advanced Center for Genome Technology was located in Oklahoma, United States. The Max Planck Institute for Molecular Genetics was located in Berlin, Germany. The Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory Lita Attenberg Hazen Genome Center at the Cold Spring Harbor was located in New York, United States. Lastly, the German Research Center for Biotechnology was located in Germany. In the United States, the major contributors were the U.S. Department of Energy, known as the DOE, and secondly, the National Institute of Health, the NIH. The HGP was funded from a UK-based charity organization, known as the Wellcome Trust in several organizations located world over. The UNESCO played a significant role in involving the developing nations in the AGP. Going way back to 1985, it was Robert Sinsheimer who organized a workshop for discussing the sequencing of the human genome, but at that time the NIH was not interested in his proposal. Then. In the March of 1986, it was Charles Del Sassi and David Smith from the DOE's Office of Health and Environmental Research who organized the Santa Fe workshop. Two months later, a workshop was organized by Dr. James Watson at the Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory. Then, a memo containing a broad plan of HGP was sent by Charles Del Sassi, the director of OHA, to Elvin. Travel Peace, who was then the Assistant Secretary for Energy Research. Again, in 1986 only, it was Elvin Travel Peace who pursued and got the grant for the project with the funding of $4 billion, which allowed OHA to start the HGP way back in 1986. It was in 1987 that the budget for the Genome Project was proposed by President Reagan, which was ultimately approved by both the Houses of the U.S. Parliament. A line-time budget of $3 billion was approved by the Reagan administration and the project was expected to take 15 years, beginning from 1990. Coming to 1990, both the DOE and the NIH signed an MOU for coordinating the plans and for initiating the HGP. At that time, James Watson headed the NIH-funded genome program, while David Gallas was initially made the director of the Office of Biological and Environmental Research in the U.S. Department of Energy's Office of Science. In 1993, Francis Collins succeeded James Watson, while Aristides Patronos succeeded Gallas. Francis Collin was made to head the project as director of the NIH. In 1998, an American, Greg Venter, founded a privately funded firm called Celera Genomics. He was a research scientist at the NIH associated from the beginning with the HGP. The Celera was founded with a capital of $3 million and aimed to sequence the genome speedily, employing the technique of whole genome shotgun sequencing at, at a cost, and at a cost much lower than $3 billion. 
In the year 2000, the President of the United States, Bill Clinton, denied the patenting of the human genome sequence and said that the researchers will have free access to it. This announcement had a negative impact on Celera shares at the Nasdaq Stock Exchange. Thus, its price went down drastically. The biotechnology sector as a whole suffered a loss of approximately $50 million in the stock market within two days of the announcement. In the year 2000, the genome announcements was made on June 26 together by the then US President Bill Clinton and the British Prime Minister Tony Blair. A rough draft of the genome was completed and released on July 7, 2000 by the UCSC Genome Informatics Genome Bioinformatics Group at the University of California. On the first day of free and open access, about 500 GB of information was downloaded by the scientific community from the UCSC Genome Server. In 2001, the researchers of HGP published their work in the journal Nature, while the scientists at Celera Genomics published their work in Science. These drafts published by both the groups covered about 83% of the genome, which included 90% of the euchromatin regions and had 1,50,000 gaps. In the year 2003, due to advances in sequencing techniques, the complete genome was announced on April 14, 2003, which was two years ahead of the timeline. The complete draft of the human genome was published in 2003. In 2006, the sequence of the last chromosome was published in Nature, which led to the completion of the project. The budget set for carrying out the human genome project was $3 billion. The funding was to be spent for conducting studies of human diseases, sequencing of model organisms, or developing latest technologies to be used for biological and medical research, development of computational methods to analyze genomes, ethical, legal and social issues related to genome sequencing, and sequencing the human genome. Budget of the Human Genome Project. This amount was to be spent in three stages over a 15-year period, initially starting from 1990 to 2005, but due to accelerated progress, the funding was calculated from 1990 to 2003. The funding agencies allotted 3 to 5% of their budgets for studying ethical, legal and social issues related to the project. The following table highlights the budget of the Human Genome Project in, in terms of dollars spent by the DOE and the NIH. One thing that is to be noticed is that the funds involved in construction have not been included as they comprise a very minor portion of the budget. Goals of the Human Genome Project The Human Genome Project was initially planned for a span of 15 years beginning from 1990 to 2005, which was divided into three five-year plans. The first five-year plan was from 1990 to 1995, was revised in 1993 as there was accelerated progress in genome sequencing. The second five-year plan defined goals from 1993 to 1998. The development of the third plan occurred through several workshops conducted by the DOE and the NIH and was from 1998 to 2003. First five-year goals of the Human Genome Project. The first five-year plan was till September 1995, but as I mentioned, due to unexpected advancing in genome research, the first five-year goals were updated in 1993. Detailed human genetic maps were generated along with better physical maps of both human and model organisms. There was improvement in DNA sequencing and bioinformatics. Identification of major ethical, legal and social issues associated with increased availability of genetic information. The Genome Project had begun to demonstrate its deep impact on biomedical research. The availability of comprehensive genetic maps allowed the scientists to find genes associated with Menke's syndrome, Huntington's disease, 
myotonic dystrophy and fragile X syndrome. The following were the first five-year goals. The first goal involved mapping and sequencing the human genome, which involved genetic mapping, physical mapping and DNA sequencing. Genetic mapping involved the completion of human genetic map containing markers based 2 to 5 centimorgan and to recognize every marker by a sequence tag site. The physical mapping involved assembling the STS maps of all human chromosomes with markers spaced at an interval of 1 lakh base pairs. It also involved generation of overlapping sets of clone DNA with continuity overlaps of 2 MB for large parts of the human genome. DNA sequencing involved improvement in existing DNA sequencing methods and development of new sequencing methods which would lead to a decrease in the cost of large-scale DNA sequencing such that it would come down to 50 cents per base pair. It also involved sequencing of 10 MB of human DNA in large uninterrupted stretches. Second goal was gene identification which involved development of methods efficient enough for not only identifying but also placing the known genes on physical map. The third goal was the mapping and sequencing of the genomes of model organisms. It involved generation of genetic maps of mouse genome on the basis of DNA markers to start the physical mapping on just one or two chromosomes, sequencing approximately 20 MB of DNA of different model organisms with a focus on stretches that are 1 MB long. The fourth goal was data collection and distribution, which involved development of software and database for supporting large-scale mapping and sequencing projects to create database tools for providing easy access to up-to-date physical, genetic, and chromosome mapping and sequencing data to be easily compared with other data. It also involved development of algorithms and analytical tools for interpreting genomic data. The fifth goal was ethical, legal, and social considerations. It involved improvement of programs for understanding the ethical, legal, and social implications of the HGP data. It also involved identification and defining of the major issues relating to the HGP data and the development of initial policy options for addressing them. The next goal was research training. It involved supporting the research training of both the pre and the postdoctoral fellows from 1990 till a total of 600 trainees per year is reached by 1995. It also involved scrutinizing the requirement for other types of research training in 1991. The next goal was technology development. It involved backing of the automated instrumentation and innovative and high risk development of technology and to improvise the existing technology for meeting the requirements of the HGP. The last goal was technology transfer, which involved improvement in the working relationships with industry and to boost as well as assist the transfer of technologies and medically important information to the medical fraternity. Second, five-year goals of the Human Genome Project. The second five-year plan was from 1993 to 1998 and was published in the journal Science, co-authored by Francis Collins and David Gallas. It extended the research goals of the first five-year plan and added specific new goals in order to develop technology for identifying genes and mapping. The main goal, however, was to complete the human DNA sequence and develop programs for the distribution of genome materials to the scientific community. There was an ongoing debate regarding the value of sequencing the whole genome. Researchers, however, realized that small-scale sequencing were ineffective in providing complete information regarding the genes and their biological functions. The following were the second five-year goals set from 1993 to 1998. The first goal was genetic mapping. It involved generation of full 2 to 5 centimorgan map by 1995 and developing techniques for fast genotyping to find easy-to-use markers along with new techniques for mapping. Physical mapping involved completion of STS maps of the human genome having a resolution of 100 KB. DNA sequencing involved 
development of DNA sequencing methods and capacity capable of sequencing DNA in MB and at a rate of 50 MB per year. It also involved development of high throughput sequencing technology which focuses on systems integration at all steps beginning from preparation of template till data interpretation. The next goal was gene identification. It involved development of efficient techniques to identify genes and to place known genes on physical maps or sequence DNA. The next goal was model organisms to complete an STS map of the mouse genome at a resolution of 300 KB to sequence selected segments of mouse DNA alongside the corresponding human DNA to complete the sequencing of E. coli and Saccharomyces cerevisiae by 1998 or earlier and to sequence the genome of C. elegans and Drosophila melanogaster for their near completion by 1998. Another goal was to develop bioinformatics which involved the continuation of creation, development and operation of databases and tools for easy access to data to consolidate, distribute and continue the development of effective softwares for large-scale genome projects. To carry on the development of softwares required for comparison and understanding genome data. The next goal was training the manpower which involved carrying on the training of scientists in interdisciplinary sciences which are related to genome research. The next important goal was ELSI. It involved continuation of the identification of issues and the development of policy options for addressing them to develop and distribute policy options concerning the genetic testing services with probable extensive usage to raise better approval of genetic variation in humans to increase and enlarge public and professional education which would make people sensitive to socio-cultural and psychological matters. The next goal was technology transfer. It involved inspiring and escalating transmission of technology both inside and outside the Institute of Genome Research. The next goal was technology development. It involved a significant increase in the support for developing innovative technology and improving the present technology used for DNA sequencing. The last goal was to outreach, which meant to facilitate the cooperation with those ready to create centers for disseminating of genome data, sharing of information and materials within six months of their development through submission of the data to public databases or repositories or to both. The third five-year goals of the Human Genome Project. The first was to complete the sequencing of human genome by 2003. Second was to complete sequencing of one-third of the human DNA and to achieve a minimum of 90% coverage of the genome in a working draft based on mapped clones by the end in 2001, making the complete sequence available free of cost. Emphasis on continued growth in the throughput and a subsequent decrease in the sequencing cost to support research which leads to the development of novel technologies that can significantly improve sequencing technology. The following are the third five-year goals set from 1998 to 2003. The first goal was to develop bioinformatics and computational biology. It involved further development both in the content and the usefulness of the existing databases to promote the development of improved methods for generation of data capture, annotation, comprehensive functional studies, representation and analysis of sequence similarity and variation. It also involved development of software that is robust, exportable and extremely shared. The next goal was training and manpower. It involved encouraging the training of researchers that are skilled in the field of genomics and to establish their academic career. It also involved a promotion in rise in the number of scholars having knowledge of both genetic and genomic and in ELSI. Improved methods for genome-wide mutagenesis. It involved development of technology for conducting comprehensive protein analysis. The next important goal was the ELSI. 
to look at various concerns that are associated with the generation of human DNA sequence and genetic variation, examination of issues that have arisen due to incorporation of genetic technologies and information into human health and public health activities, to conduct research on the effect of racial, ethnic and socio-economic factors on the usage, understanding and explanation of genetic information, genetic services and policy development. The next goal was human genome sequence variation. It involved promoting the development of technologies for rapid and large-scale identification of single nucleotide polymorphisms and other DNA sequence variations to generate a, an SNP map of containing a minimum of 1 lakh markers creation of public resources of DNA samples and cell lines. The next important goal was functional genomics technology. Generation of complete cDNA clones and sequences representing human genes and model organisms. And it also involved supporting research to develop techniques for studying the functions of non-protein coding sequences and complete study of gene expression. The last goal was comparative genomics, which involved completion of genome sequencing of C. elegans by 1998 and Drosophila by 2002. It also involved development of physical and genetic map for mass musculars and completion of its genome sequence by 2008. It also involved identification of additional valuable model organisms and to study their genome. Goals of the HGP and their respective completion dates. The following table talks about the realistic goals that the HGP had set, how they were achieved well before time. The first was the generation of genetic map. The HGP had planned to generate a genetic map which had a resolution of 2 to 5 centimorgan. But interestingly, by September 1994, they had already made a genetic map which had a resolution of 1 centimorgan. The second goal was to generate a physical map with 30,000 sequence tag sites. But luckily, they were able to generate a physical map that had 52,000 sequence tag sites by October 1998. The next important goal was DNA sequencing. Their initial goal was that 95% of gene containing part of human sequence is finished to 99.99% accuracy. In reality, 98% of gene containing part of human sequence was finished to an accuracy of 99.99% by April 2003. The next important goal was capacity and cost of finished sequence. The goal was to sequence 500 MB of genome per year at a cost less than 25 cents per finished base pair. In reality, they were able to sequence greater than 1400 MB of genome per year at a cost of 9 cents per finished base pair by November 2002. Human sequence variations was an important goal. They had set to map 1 lakh human SNPs and in reality they were able to map 3.7 million SNPs by February 2003. Another important goal was gene identification. The HGP aimed at identifying full-length human DNAs and was able to identify some 15,000 full-length human DNAs, cDNAs, by March 2003. An important goal was to sequence the genomes of model organisms such as E. coli, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, Xenorhabditis elegans and Drosophila melanogaster. They were able to achieve finished genome sequences of E. coli, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, C. elegans and Drosophila melanogaster plus the whole genome drafts of several others which included C. brigesse and Drosophila pseudobscura mouse and rat by April 2003. The last important goal was functional analysis which involved development of genomic scale technologies. By 1994, they were able to generate high throughput oligonucleotide synthesis by 1996, they had developed the technique of DNA microarrays. By 1999, they were able to develop eukaryotic whole genome knockouts in yeast. While 2002, 
they were able to scale up the two hybrid system for protein protein interaction so students let us now summarize what we have learned in this module the term genome was coined by professor hans winkler and is defined as the genetic material of an organism sequencing of an organism genome is the determination of the order of nitrogenous bases ATGC in its genetic material. Genome projects are scientific research project taken up by research groups to know the complete genome sequence of organisms and to annotate the protein coding genes and gain information about the other important features of a genome. The Human Genome Project known as the HGP was a collaborative effort which was started in 1990. Its goal was to sequence and identify all the 3 billion base pairs in the human genome. The Human Genome Project aimed to completely map as well as understand the structure and function of all the genes of humans. This was followed by the identification of genetic variants which escalate the possibility of the common diseases such as cancer and diabetes and to develop the appropriate treatment for it. The human genome was sequenced in 20 universities and research centers that were located in the United States, the United Kingdom, France, Japan, Germany and China. The HGP was started in the United States and funded majorly by the US Department of Energy and the National Institute of Health. A budget of $3 billion was set for carrying out the HGP which was planned to be spent in three stages in 15 year period from 1990 to 2005 but due to accelerated progress the project was completed in 2003. The goals of the HGP were to generate the genetic map with a resolution of 2 to 5 centimorgan to generate a physical map with 30,000 sequence tag sites to sequence the euchromatid with 99% accuracy and to increase the capacity of sequencing with a subsequent reduction in sequencing cost to map the single nucleotide polymorphism and to identify the full length cDNAs to sequence the genomes of model organisms such as E. coli, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, C. elegans, Drosophila melanogaster which could be subsequently used in comparative analysis.